The Internet Club will meet today. Good morning. It's Thursday, January 11th. I'm Levi Jane. And we have info on the next JHS Theater production. Good morning. I'm Andrew Dennis. The next JHS Theater production called To Kill a Mockingbird will be presented January 18th, 19th, 20th, and 21st in the JHS Auditorium. For information and to purchase tickets, please contact Mr. Meyer, Mrs. Miller, or any theater student. Congratulations go out today to two art students here at, WJH, or here at JHS. Freshman Malachi Green received first place honors in the Martin Luther King Jr. poster contest and won $100 for his efforts. Justin Wright received second place in the contest and received $50 for his poster. Both students are intro to two-dimensional art students in Mr. Andrew Smith's classes. Junior class officers will continue to collect dues. Dues are $5. Don't forget to pay your dues. The Interact Club will meet today in room 202 after school. This will start the club's regular meetings for the second semester. Meetings every other Thursday afternoon. Attention our club members. The field trip to the Kentucky Museum of Arts and Crafts will be on Monday, January 29th. Please pick up a permission slip from Mrs. Wolf or Mrs. Strzok. Cost for admission is $1. Students who have books at home or in their lockers that are not being used, please turn them into the bookstore as soon as possible. Also, if you see textbooks lying around and not being used, turn them into a teacher. If your class, club, group, organization has an announcement, please put it in the box marked WJHS in the front office and we'll get on the air for you as soon as possible. The announcement must be submitted at least three days in advance. We will have your weather forecast and the JHS Sports Report for you after the break. Does your basement leak? Think it will go away by itself? Think again. It's time to call United Dynamics. Ignoring the problem can damage your home, but UDI can help. For waterproofing or foundation problems, call United Dynamics. Their reputation is built on a solid foundation. Call 282-2222. United Dynamics to the rescue. Or 800-359-4471. Solid as rock. If you are looking for a better way to bank, think first, as in First Savings Bank. Think first for local people making local decisions. A real live person every time you call. Familiar faces you've known for years. Seven convenient places to bank and a history of community service since 1937, and a smile with every visit. For all the ways you need to bank, think first. First Savings Bank. Good morning, I'm Leslie Loxon with a look at today's JHS weather forecast. Today, sunshine and a few afternoon clouds, high of 56 degrees. Tonight, cloudy skies with a few showers after midnight and a low of 47 degrees. Tomorrow, cloudy with periods of rain, high of 59. That's a look at your JHS weather forecast. Now here's a look at JHS Sports. Good morning, I'm Ben Bauer with today's JHS Sports. The 15 and 16 boys all-star team had a good year this past summer. JHS reporter Cole Wilcoxon has more. Over the summer, the Jeffersonville 15 and 16 year old all-star team won state and cannot compete on anymore because of the IHSA rules. Let's hear from a couple of the players about what they think. How does it feel when you were told that you were going to be punished for winning? It felt bad because we worked so hard during the summer and it all paid off at the end and then when we found out we couldn't move on it was just a total letdown for our whole team. Do you think the IHSAA should change the rule? Yeah because all they're doing is hurting athletes in the state of Indiana and with us not moving on to regionals we, you never know we could have went to the World Series or something. How did it feel when you were told you were going to be punished for winning? By not being able to move on to the regional tournament, it really crushed our team's hopes of being able to attend the World Series. Do you think the IHSA should change the rule? Yes, I think that ISHA should change the rules because it only hurts the players. From the WJHS, I'm Cole Wilcoxon. JHS JV wrestlers were in action last night at Jennings County. Here's a report. The Jeff Boys Wrestling JV competed in the Jennings County Invitational. Undefeated wrestlers were Caleb Browner, John Miller, Mark Fridley, David Clark, Daniel Salazar, and Jordan Hilburn. Wrestlers with one loss were Becky Sissel, Damon Dryden, Nate Pellman, Patrick O'Brien, Joseph Daniels, and Casey Taylor. Mark Fridley leads the JV with a record of 24-1, followed by John Miller with a record of 20-0. For the JHS Report Sports, I'm Jennifer Embry. The athletic department is pre-selling boys basketball tickets in the athletic office between 7.30 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. for this Saturday's game at Providence High School. 
Softball conditioning will be held each Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Meet in the gym at 2.45 p.m. Track and field conditioning will continue today after school. Meet in the track locker room at 2.45 p.m. And that's all for JHS Sports. Vocational opportunities in Greater Clark County Schools offer students the opportunity to take classes that will provide them with real-world training and experience. Do you want to be a home builder? Do you plan on owning your own home someday? This class builds a new home every year and has been doing so for more than 30 years. It doesn't get much more real than that. Students learn in the classroom and on site how to work in excavating, framing, window and door installation, basic construction, roofing and interior finishing. Students participating in construction trades are on site for a full day every other day. Construction trades classes exposes students to such trades as architect, brick and stone mason, plumber, electrician, finish carpenter, carpenter, heat and air specialist, and civil engineering. After graduation, students who excel are often placed with companies by their instructor based on their experience and skills. Give me fire, give me that which I desire Attention, all JHS students and faculty. You've just heard the reading Unravelers. 
and their performance of It's Not Unusual. Their song explains how to unravel text to understand what you read. The JHS School Improvement Committee is holding a contest for students to create lyrics to the tune of an old song, a new song, a rap, or a poem to explain the steps to the unravel reading comprehension strategy. The, the rules are simple. Clean language that explains all the steps in order. Look for the neon green flyer in all of your classrooms. It explains the contest rules. You can also pick up a copy of the flyer in the front office. The prize for the winner is a debut performance on WJHS and a $50 and gift certificates. All entries are due to Mrs. Truy in the front office by Friday, January 26th. That's Nicolette's birthday. Have fun and good luck. So now you're up to date for the latest Jeff High news. For Levi James, I'm Andrew Dennis. Thanks for watching the JHS Report.